Greetings and welcome to my channel. If you are first time here, please be so kind and hit the subscribe and the like button. Also feel free to comment and share the video and send your own true stories, fiction work or creepypasta. Emails are in the description box. It has been a while since I made the true scary story videos, so here's new one with help of my friend Tiana. Before we start, I just want to recommend awesome channel The 3X for all of you who enjoy real ghosts caught on tape. Don't forget to visit and subscribe to 3X as well. That said, we can start with the today's real scary stories from Reddit. I'm a female. I was 16 at the time of this story. It was summer, so school was out already. My parents were hardly even home since work kept them away. My little sister was staying with our grandma. I've decided at night that I didn't want to be alone, so I called a couple of friends to come over. While I was waiting for them to get here, I had gone up to my room. As I walked in, I got a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach and felt as I was being watched. Now mind you, I was completely alone in my house upstairs on the second floor. I brushed it off thinking it was just my imagination. I walk into my own bathroom to find all my hair products and jewelry on the floor and the window wide open. That's when I started to panic. My first thought was that there was intruder and I ran to get my dad's rifle in the closet. I kept it by my side while I hid in the living room behind the couch. After a half hour pass, I started to tell myself that maybe I forgot to close my window and the window knocked all my stuff off my counter. My door was knocked on and the wave of relief washed over me. I ran to my door and opened it, only to find no one there. I slammed the door shut and started to panic again. Was some jerk messing with me or was it something else? I didn't want to find out. At that time, I was thinking, where in the hell were my friends? Just when I took my phone out, I heard a faint laugh coming from my room. I sat and listened to it for a moment. It sounded like a little girl's laugh. Of course, that just freaked me out even more. In the movies I watched that usually mean get out and get out fast, but the laughing suddenly stopped. I was so scared, I really didn't know what to do. Just when I thought it was over, a huge bang came from the kitchen. All the pans had fallen off the pot hanger. I was so scared, I couldn't move. Then I heard a little girl's voice again. This time it was right behind me and she whispered, help me. I turned so fast, I could broke my neck and there was a little girl with a blood-soaking white dress. I can't tell you how fast I ran out of there, never looking back. I stayed outside until my friends got there. I ended up going to my friend Shala's house. I didn't want to come back ever again. I was about the age of 13 when this story took place. I lived in an old house just outside of a large city and was surrounded by cornfields and forests. I have lived there all of my life before this happened. It was a dreamy summer night, which is most normal for the place I live. But on this particular night something just felt off. I had come home from saucer practice around 6 pm and my parents always had me in bed by 8. The night went on as usual. I ate dinner, played with my little sister and did some weightlifting before bed. I got into bed around 7.45. This story will make better sense if I tell you some things about me. I am restless sleeper. I toss and turn and get up periodically through the night. And I have always had fascination with the afterlife. Ok, back to the story. I'm not sure exactly what time I fell asleep, but I didn't really have my usual episodes through the night. This was the first night I slept peacefully in years. I was suddenly awoken by a strange noise coming from the bathroom in my bedroom. Since I had to use the bathroom anyways, I decided to go and check it out. 
I thought it might be a mouse or a bat since we live in the country and the house is old and has holes in the older walls. I went in the bathroom and I didn't see anything, so I proceed on my way to pee. After peeing, I washed my hands and face, and when I was washing my face, I looked up at the large mirror that overhangs my sink. Since there was still water in my eyes, my vision was blurry and I couldn't really see much. But I thought I saw something behind me, but I thought it was just my mind playing tricks on me. I dried my face off and looked up at the mirror again. Right behind me, there was a little girl clutching my body, almost as if she was hiding from something. Her ghostly outline scared me at first, but as I kept looking, I could tell that whatever was scaring her was coming from the basement. So I walked to my basement door and opened it. Slightly at first, cause I was very scared of what might be behind it. This being said, I have lived in this house my entire life and have never been in the basement. My dad mentioned to me that it had three separate parts, all separated by small windows that you could barely fit through. So I walked down the basement steps and got down to the bottom where the light switch was. I turned it on and all seems like it was okay. That's until I heard what sounded like cry from one of the other parts of the basement. In my mind I was thinking, F this shit, but in my heart I knew I had to see what it was. So I ventured through the part of the basement and the light couldn't reach the other side where the room was. It was pitch black. I still heard the crying, but since it was so dark, I couldn't see anything. Something gave me the urge to go to the far corner of the room, because the way that moonlight reflected off the floor, you could kind of see with the little light you had. I walked over to the corner and started directly in the middle to the room. There in the middle of the room was a chair. It had shackles for the feet and what looked like to be some type of restraints for arms or something like that. That's when I noticed that there was something sitting in the chair. I walked closer only to reveal that it was the same little ghost girl that have been crying previously in the bedroom. She was also crying here and had needles stuck in her arms, draining some type of fluid into her. All was quiet till she started screaming. It was so high-pitched, I thought it sounded like a siren on something of that nature. She was saying words, but I couldn't make out anything she said, until she spoke five menacing words that made my heart sink. She said, Get out. Daddy is coming. Not even thinking twice, I sprinted up the basement stairs, tripping over my own feet and fell flat on my face since I reached the top. I got back up and ran to my parents' room. I told them what happened. They went down there and checked everything out. I told them about the chair and the little girl that was screaming. They told me that there was no chair in the basement and that there never had been three parts of the basement. Me not believing them, I walked back down there and the room that I saw the chair in was not there. There had only ever been two parts of basement, my dad said. I told him what I saw and how I knew that there had been some mistake, but I never did see that part of the basement again. I'm 18 now and I decided to do some research on the house to see if there's any history that could have caused that. I came across an article of a man who had been arrested in 1868 for doing lab experiments on all of his children. After the man was arrested, the police found all 12 skeletons of his children stuffed between the basement stairs under debris and concrete. Now that I finally have moved out of the house and that I finally have an answer to what I saw that night, I'm finally at peace. But those five words still hang over me to this day. Get out, Daddy is coming.
For starters, my name is Jade. I'm currently 12 and I live in Colorado. I live in a neighborhood with low to no crime. This happened to me about a year ago. I was doing my nightly routine, shower, brush teeth and go to bed. While I was getting dressed, I heard a loud bang on my bathroom window. Before I go on, let me explain the layout of my bathroom. When you walk into the bathroom, you see the bathtub right away. To the right of you, there's the counter and a sink. And next to the counter, there's a toilet. The small window in my bathroom is right above my shower. So, as I was saying, I heard a loud bang on my window. At first I thought it was my mom trying to scare me. But when I walked out of my bathroom, I saw my mom sitting on the couch. In confusion, I asked my mom if she had been into the backyard, but in the middle of my sentence we both heard a loud bang on the slide glass door. My mom told me to get into the laundry room. My auntie then got her gun and walked outside. My auntie then comes back in a minute later. She told me that she saw footprints leading up to the electric box. I then got sick to my stomach, realizing the person was probably watching me shower, and when I started getting dressed, they banged on the window. Several months after the incident, I have had people jumping our fence in the middle of the night and walking around in the front of our house. I now have a fear of taking shower at night, but the person who was watching me take a shower, let's not meet again. Thank you all for stopping by and supporting my channel by subscribing and liking the videos. Just to remind you, feel free to contact me with your own stories, legends from your country, UFO or ghost encounters, anything that fits this channel content. That's all for today, stay safe and I'll see you soon.